Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Extella. We have finished the Tamamo campaign, and don't worry, we will be getting, of course, onto the side stories later on. Not at this point. Uh, the major reason for that is, um, I kind of want to finish the main story, then as soon as that's done, I can pretty much move right on to Olympus. And then I'll do, like, the side stories and Olympus and FGO at the same time. But also, I'm really just enjoying this game. I'm quite enjoying it. Story of Saber, the Dawn Arc. Strength B, Endurance A, Agility A, Mana B, Luck A, Noble Phantasm A++. That's pretty strong compared to you who has Strength and Endurance at E. Wow, yeah, your stats kind of suck. Wow, yours kind of do too. Versus you. Huh. Well, let's hop on in. Compendium Dawn. Very curious how this is going to start. Let's review the facts, the scholar said to me. Earth scientists have hypothesized so-called parallel worlds, other versions of Earth and its surroundings, expanding inf indefinitely like mirrored reflections. If true, that would mean the Earth has not only one future, but many, in other words. Oh, I was right. Those are timelines. Those are timelines. That's cute. Think of it like this. The you that you are aware of exists somewhere upon this timeline. It might sound unreal. Humans aren't equipped to perceive, let alone traverse, the wall between worlds. But what if I put it another way? Think of these parallel worlds as other possibilities. Imagine what your life, uh, imagine what might have been in your life. Think of the connections that were cut off and thrown away. Options you see now in retrospect that you, will, uh, that you would have never considered at the time. Picture how your life today might be different had those what-ifs come to pass. All those variant futures in everyone's lives make up the vast array of parallel worlds. Your actions, those of the you in the present moment on this particular timeline, can change the world in any number of ways. That proves such possibilities are alive and that your world exists on the proper axis. Conversely, a world where the future cannot change regardless of your choices can have no parallel worlds. Such a world is nothing but a dead end. Oh boy. Such a world is nothing but a dead end, solitary and singular, with a past as immutable as its future. My man's talking Lost Belts. Before Lost Belts were a thing. That's- okay, that's sick. Okay, turning that into- okay. Turning the magic circuits into timelines is really cool! This is a necessary evil, a byproduct of the way parallel worlds are structured together. After all, a world where humanity made radically different choices would bear little, very little resemblance to the world you know. Some worlds may have crumbled by making all the worst choices. Others may have made all the right ones and rocketed ahead, perhaps too far ahead. In either case, the world can no longer be said to resemble ours, and once a world moves out of sync, it is no longer parallel. Why would those worlds become solitary, you ask? Could the people in those worlds not still make different choices? I'll, unfortunately, no. This dimension contains a finite amount of energy and has none to spare for creating new worlds from the worlds gone so far astray. So Lost Belts have no more what-if futures, essentially. Okay. If parallel worlds continue to increase this manner, their number would eventually exceed the capacity of this dimension. Parallel worlds must exist, but in a manageable quantity. By my own rough calculations, and judging by the civilization on Earth alone, this solar system would collapse within a hundred years if parallel worlds expanded without limits. Seeing as how we do in fact live and multiply, the solar system is clearly not oversaturated with possibility at this time. I can extrapolate that this dimension can sustain our existence for the next 100 million years. The system works thusly. At regular intervals, the dimension takes stock of the possibilities it contains and only allows certain outcomes. Those that would not cause undue difficulty and manage the next generation to remain. As for those unneeded parallel worlds, the system closes off their futures. Specifically, every hundred years it calculates how many worlds will last another hundred years and supports those worlds only. Have you heard of the Law of Conservation of Mass? This could be called the Law of Conservation of Events. Huh. And so the civilizations in these numerous parallel worlds line up with one another. Think of it as a giant tree. Only the trunk at the center can grow tall. 
The branches may bear fruit, but eventually they reach your limit and fall without reaching the future. You understand, yes? There are no parallel worlds for a world that has evolved too fast or crumbled too quickly. Such worlds are merely dead ends where outcomes are predetermined. And so, there is a set time frame in which these branches are trimmed, extra possibilities are removed, and future histories once fluid turn to stone. The mages of the old world called this time frame the foundation of humanity. Such laws apply to the moon cell as well. The moon cell is a self-updating observatory which continues to record every incident and possibility on Earth. You could say it makes the same observations on parallel worlds, it's all quite vexing. But in any case, the so-called Foundation of Humanity governs the moon just as it does the Earth, tracking the various Spiritron worlds and determining where the futures will come to an end. Once one event passes the event horizon, there is no turning back nor turning aside. Any lingering ifs become might have beens. It is the work of a great invisible hand. Oh, we're going into the invisible hand now! Okay, know of God's invisible hammer. I have named the point in time the Quantum Time Lock, the event compilation set by an absolute observer. Oh! The Quantum Time Lock is the moment where all parallel worlds are- Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. That's the moment where they cut off the future worlds. Okay. I vaguely remember being there for that long lecture. I passed through a deep, deep darkness for so long I felt my consciousness fade. To the end of Seraph, and then I set foot into the forbidden territories where even the light of the moon cell could not reach. <sighs> Why are we red again? Or, or, or is that like brown and we're a, a, the whole version of ourself? Might be. Hmm. Okay, leave it to me. That's red. That's red. Which is very confusing as why we're red again. I nod in agreement and look up at the wall again. It's huge. Seraph has its giant structures, but it's rare to see anything on this scale. The bizarre architecture gives me the impression of a prison, capable of holding tens of thousands of prisoners. I feel an urge to touch the wall. It's hard as diamond, but smooth as silk. Normally, Seraph only builds objects out of the same materials found on Earth. The touch alone tells me that this stone came from somewhere else. There's no doubt this belongs to an invader, something from beyond Earth made from pseudo-spiritrons. Just as Archimedes said, it's an external threat. I'm afraid. Anyone would be. Inside this place sleeps a monster who nearly destroyed both the Earth and the Moon. And they expect me now, one lone wizard, to defeat it. If only Saber were here. Okay, so this is where we were on the Saber route. Huh. So that means we are the soul, right? Or are we the mind? Are we the mind or soul? No, we're the mind, right. Very confused at what point in time we're at. あなただって負けると分かりきった戦いにサーバントを投入したくはないでしょう。やれやれ。全く大ぞましいことこの上ないんですが、これで私の正しさは証明されました。私とあなただけなら敵に気づかれない。この亀裂から侵入しましょう。
ここは限りなく広いようで限りなく狭い構造なのでしょう Sorry, I... The concept that the candy reference doesn't make much sense to me. Oh, shook you, sir, Belba. Each man, you'll send them my. Kono tai yo ke ni arawale mashta. Sore ga kono kozo tai des. You say a kakera to not the skin of Uraga ni sasari. Butsuri taking him moon cell no naibu ni kui kum des shimata. Naibu kara no hacking desne. Kakera wa moon cell no network ni ses shook she. Kono yo ni digi yo shi no sekai ni jibun no yo iki o tsukuta. ムーンセルは侵食してきた優勢のかけらをネットワークから遮断光の届かない未明領域とすることで侵食を食い止めたしかしそれが限界でしたムーンセルはムーンセルを守れても地上までは守ることができなかった優勢はムーンセル内のリソースを利用し地上に自分のデータを送りマテリアルボディを構築したそれが1万4000年前に地上を滅ぼした白い巨人セファールと呼ばれるアンチセルですこの先にいるのはその本体文明を破壊するためだけに生まれた怪物いいですねくれぐれも用心し気を許さないように Didn't you say not for me to speak? OK セラフを守り斧がサーバントのもとに無事に帰りたいのなら決してためらわないことです Oh, that's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. I gasp at the unexpected view. Beyond the darkness is not some alien hellscape, but an old cave. It wouldn't be out of place anywhere else in Seraph. Madoa Sarena Yoni. Korewa Chikyu no Fuke o Saigen s h t a d a k e no Mono. You say no h o n s h i t e w a a r i m a s e The Umbral Star modeled this area after where they have the final battle in Pirates of the Caribbean 1. Okay. Watashimo Igai Sikite. 目を疑ったものです地上を滅ぼした巨神がまさかこんな金銀財宝に埋もれた部屋に封じられているなんて Not that the concept of treasure really even matters a whole ton to us Treasure gold The floor of the cave is buried in it A vast endless mountains of coins clinking and falling as we walk The shining hoard reflects the light that streams in from the ceiling softly illuminating the room Yeah, it's a lot of gold. No wonder Gil joined up with them. Amidst all the treasures, a giant altar. I've heard rumors of a Mayan temple somewhere underground on Earth, and this cave definitely reminds me of some lost world relic. But I don't see any sign of the enemy. The altar seems like the most likely place to look. Buddy, you're the one that was moving and talking. Buddy, that's on you. Huh? The enemy's already in front of us. No, it can't be. As my eyes lift slowly upwards, I try to breathe as quietly as I can. There. Oh my god, she's huge! Dang. Okay. All of a sudden, I'm very interested in this route. A titan with white hair and dark skin is sleeping on top of the altar. Oh. This is interesting. Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. Nasu. Such a mad lad. I literally can't believe my eyes. It's not that I'm terrified, it doesn't feel frightening at all. It's just I'm not used to seeing anything that huge, and my perception can't keep up. I did not know she was big. I've seen a number of strange or giant weapons before in the past. I know I've seen things much more terrible than what's in front of me now. But even so, none of it compares. The impact of seeing it slams through my head and leaves me paralyzed, which is good because I shouldn't be moving. In some distant, abstract way, I'm ashamed of myself. Humans can accept the existence of all kinds of other creatures, but the idea of a greater, grander human feels like a threat to our very existence. <laughs> can you imagine if they just announced human too? And humans were like 11 feet tall. Yeah, I'd feel threatened. Archimedes sounds like the type of guy who's like, yeah, brachiosaurs don't exist. 
Archimedes, but what if I think it's kind of hot? As hard as I'm shaking right now, I can barely hear Archimedes screaming at me. I'm in awe. The same awe people must have felt when they saw their gods in ancient times. I've almost forgotten how to breathe. But I can't freeze up forever. This is it. Right in front of me. The vanguard of the umbral star itself, destroyer of the earth and the moon. I come to my senses and... No, she's hot. I shouldn't do it. I can't explain why, but killing it like this feels wrong. Oh, she has a unique, like, sprite. Oh god, that's scary. The ground shakes, the mountain rises. Her movements are so dignified and graceful, I can barely believe what I'm seeing. The cave's atmosphere changes. I can feel a blackness eating away at my heart. I can feel myself being crushed under terrible lies. My eyes are working, but I feel like I've just gone blind. Whatever it is, it's enormous, and I can't take it all in at once. This, this itself, is a piece of the umbral star, the earth-ravaging titan, the absolute threat to humanity, and it's waking up. And it knows we're here. Oh, is she more like her... her, like, Christmas persona? Hmm. She has to know I'm an intruder, but her words are calm and articulate. Can you, can you just, like, swat him, please? Archimedes' repeated warnings echo in my head, but... Yo, is she really a monster? I can't hurt her, there's no way. I don't feel any hostility from her, no intent to kill. The Titan, Sephir, as Archimedes calls her, doesn't seem to want to hurt us at all. In fact, it's the just the opposite. I feel embarrassed that we came to here to kill her just because of her size. She's trying to be considerate towards us. She's keeping her movements as slight as possible in order not to scare us, and she's waiting for us to make a move. In other words, now's the time to talk with her. So, uh, you come here often? I wonder how, like, is her model, like, way more HD because they had to make her big? Bro, you don't get it. Giant woman. Giant woman! Sounds like you're king shaming me, dude. そのためのレガリア、そのためのムーンセルなのだから。レガリア。そう。ムーンセルは地平を選んだのですね。当然の選択とはいえ、芸のないこと。となると。そうか。私と戦うというのか、お前は。そのために我が信頼に忍び込ん
What was that noise? <laughs> oh, he's like, he's like, yo, it was that easy? Oh my god. Sebaru,予想通りとはいえ、ここまで簡単に済むとはな。痛快なことこの上ない。万が一のためにと身構えてはいたが、一撃であっさり終わって何よりだ。そしてお疲れ様。ご機嫌よう、愚かな神王よ
okay. No, this makes a lot of sense now. It's almost a kind of suicide, but all I want to do right now is disappear. I don't care, it's not like I have any other choice. Well, this isn't the first time I've had been this desperate, and hopefully it won't be the last. <laughs> Jokes on you. Oh, there you go. You saw the three colors. And this was the, the Titan grabbing us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So that wasn't red, that was just brown, which was the default, okay. And this makes sense why... This makes sense for why the Regalia split in three also, okay! She's like, in fact, I think he even... I think he... He has a thing going on for me in my giant form. その霊を返すまで殺しはしない。あの少年は私のものにする。私の許しなくして触れることはできないと知れ。なんだと。ベルバーを招くという使命は。やかましい。貴様は。使命は遂行する。私はムーンセルを征服し、地上を破壊する。その結果としてベルバーは来訪する。私の役割、存在には何も考えていない。お前は不快だ。歩き目です。スラップ him. Oh, or just shoot lasers. That works too. Literally just laser eyes. Please tell me we can use laser eyes as we play as her. Fully expect by the end of this game Archimedes to come out with an aggravating like I hate all women line. なんで荒木様は優勢には逆らえない。貴様は貴様の思惑で無ンセルを落とすがいい。私は私のやり方で無ンセルを落とす。貴様はこの牢獄の中でその抜け殻を守っていろ。Look at these this coin texture. I'm in a huge room, a sealed pit like a temple or an underwater cave or prison. Why am I here? I don't know where I am or what happened to me or even who I am at all. My back hurts. I can hardly breathe. I can't even move my body, my name. I do know my own name. But even now, there's something my entire body is trying, an entire being is trying to tell me. I need to run. I need to get out. I don't need to know what's going on. I need to go n uh, now and figure it out later. Well, that's something to look up and see. A titan? Sorry. I've, I've been waiting for, for one moment to do that This uh, since, since the word came up, right? I gasp as I try to understand. I don't understand. Of course I don't. This is a dream. Why my head feels so light? Anything can happen right now, but if I close my eyes, I'm sure I'll wake up right. Oh god, this isn't a dream. <laughs> it just runs away. <laughs> Running through a sea of gold coins is hard enough, but no matter how far I run, the exit doesn't get any closer. 
The space has been altered somehow. I'll never reach the exit, and I know it. If it were possible to leave, the Titan already would have. Oh, bro. <sighs> <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sip of my water. Okay, just gonna... Okay, hmm, calm down. Okay. Her giant hand swoops down toward me. I remember an old fairy tale about a boy who climbed a beanstalk into the sky. He found a giant's house there and was caught by the giant himself. No, I can't escape. She's got me. The giant has me right in the palm of her hand. I can still breathe, but I can't move. She's gonna kill me, I know it. A long moment passes in total silence, then I dare to open one eye. <laughs> oh, you are very different than the Altera we've seen. She's much more similar to like the Christmas Altera, which always struck me as a bit weird, but okay. I look into her eyes, and I see not a cold-blooded monster, but a being with a reason and heart. On a side note, how did that story of the boy and the giant end again? Oh, I'm already incredibly intrigued by how this is going to go. I fall back on her hand and shake my head to show her that I'm okay. The White Titan lets out a sigh of relief. Oh, I really like Titan Altera. I really do. Wow. Awakening on thin ice. Mary Mellum City of Lost Destiny. Of course it's it's there. question is so surprising that I jerk involuntarily. Hakano Kishinami, I tell her. My name. The only two words that I own for myself. I try not to look away as I say them. Ah.人間の名前にそれほど親しみはありませんが、あなたの名はいい響きなのですね。はい。覚えました。どうか安心して。もう忘れませんから。her smile shows a mix of shyness and humility. I feel dizzy, and I almost fall out of her hand. A moment ago, she looked like the mountain of death, but now... How can she seem so beautiful now? I'd expect those red eyes to be full of menace, but instead they look more like the eyes of a benevolent goddess. Wait, hold on, am I thinking straight? Wasn't I running away in mortal terror just a minute ago? It's not that I've forgotten that, but, well, for one thing, I don't even know why she grabbed me in the first place. <laughs> Memories? Now that she reminds me, I can't remember much of anything. Not even why I'm here. What is this cave anyway? What am I doing here? Bigger question, who am I? I have no idea. None at all. My memories are completely blank. Well, she's right about all that. All I know is that I'm here with the name Hakano Kishinami in a digital body, staring up at a giant woman. Frick yeah. Wait, digital body? Right, because this is Seraph on the moon. I'm a wizard. That's why I have this body, or at least why it's why I should. I fought in the Holy Grail Wars as a Spiritron hacker. I was one of the masters who strived for the moon cell. I made a contract with a servant who fought for me. Okay, if I can remember that much, what else can I remember? Who is my servant? That, to my dismay, I can't remember at all. I remember we fought all kinds of battles together and. Uh, Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> Buddy, you're so stupid. Why did you do that? Buddy. Moving freely now, jump straight down. There's something I need to do. 
I don't remember why, but I know I have a duty, and the drive to do it is burning in my chest. Protect Seraph. The words ring through my head like a bell. Oh, we're just stuck, stuck in the cave, huh? God, I just want a giant woman to talk down to me. I can't properly answer that. Even if I open my mouth right now, all I'd be able to tell her is the truth, or as little as I understand it, I have to escape. I, even if I don't know where I am or what's going on, I feel in my gut that I can't obey her. I have to go against her. That's right. It's like that purpose has been burned into my heart. What is she talking about? I know this much. With her, any mistake I make could be my last. She's obviously more dangerous than any other servant, but... Is there more to her than that? What am I not seeing? What have I forgotten? I know I've forgotten something. Right, so what I need to do right now is to stay calm. I have to keep my head down, keep my eyes and ears open, gather all the information I can and figure out what's happening. I bow my head and close my mouth tight as I look at Titan over. Despite her overwhelming size, she has a very feminine, almost delicate appearance. If I start talking again, she might listen. So the first thing I say to her is... What are you? そうですね。そこ that is a fair point. That 1,400 years, or 14,000 years rather, numbers are hard, is, uh, is very much an Earth calendar thing. So this is her non-corrupted? Like the bunny form is not the actual Sephir the White Titan, but this? Okay. What she said sounds unbelievable, but I know it's the truth. Not because she triggered some other memory of mine, but because her voice and her expression convinced me beyond any doubt. A monster with the power and the bearing of a goddess, and she's declared war on humanity, she said so herself. Yo! Put him up! Put him up! I gotta say, it, it's very fitting that the body is the most physically funny of the Hakuno Kishinamis. <laughs> He's still trying. Oh! Oh, you literally put me in a cage. No, but I want more. I want to be helped by you. Master, that doesn't sound right. Master is supposed to give orders to their servants, not the other way around. This is all wrong. Ah, so this is 
あなたの言う通りムーンセルの仕組みを利用したものですから多少私たちの関係とは違いますね<笑>あべこべですともかくあなたはマスターです私とつながり私からは逃れられない存在 OK、Prisoner with a capital P? Why does the capital P matter? This game loves to throw capitals on stuff. I guess it's like a title. I guess it's like a title. Can't leave, she says. I can relate to that. But wait, she wants me to roam Seraph without her? Yes, I said it. あなたに嘘を述べはしません。私の虜なのですから、偽る理由がないでしょう。それで、どうでしょう。私のお願い、聞いてくださいますか。Wish is it? What if I have a choice? Can I say no? こ、断れるのですか。Oh, she is so cute. She's got that squirrel tooth. そうですね。断っても構いませんその時は私に逆らった A shiver runs up my spine She's still calm and civil but she's also well beyond deadly I better not betray her right now Sorry? Someone's phone going off? What's going on here? Oh How nice! 敵へを自動察知誰かがこの未明領域へ向かってきているようです。敵はおそらくムーンセルに召喚されたトップスターだと。Oh. 世界を維持するために私を殺そうとする敵です。All right, okay, okay. 先ほどの質問は意味がなくなりました。私のマスター。早速出番ですね。私の代わりに外へ赴きトップサーバントと戦ってくれるのなら。一時的に檻から出してあげられます。どうされますか ?Let me out and I'll fight for you! ありがとうございます。Simple as that! <笑>そう言ってくれると思っていました。Agreeing with her seems to be the best strategy for now. It might be the only way out of this cavern, so I nod along. Escape is still my number one priority, but I'll have to make it a long term goal. よかった。ではお願いしますね。マスター、行ってらっしゃいませ。あなたならきっと大丈夫だと思いますが相手はトップサーバントとして選出された強力な英霊ですくれぐれもお気をつけてくださいね My only question is gonna be how do how do they get to be on our side also okay okay zero dark has a throne room ha no one's here I wasn't sure I could ever escape. I certainly didn't think it'd be this easy. But what was she thinking when she let me leave? Does she really need me to go fight for her? Did she think I'd just obey her without any more than words to steal the deal? Well, I'll have plenty of time to think about that once I get out of here. I need to find someplace quiet and sort out what's been happening. Surprise. So you're terminal. Which is I'm, maybe not the term they're going to use, but that's, you know, based off what we just saw in Grand Order there. That's what we're going to use. Your terminal has the abrasive personality. Yeah, wow, you are, you are very different when small. Altera's in front of me. She's the size of a normal human now, and it's definitely her. Same smooth skin, same bright hair and clothes. She said she couldn't go outside. I don't think she was lying, but then the woman in front of me is. Honestly, I have no idea. There she is, looking just like the bigger Altair I left behind. I failed to escape, I know that much. Okay. So, literally, the exact same thing Sieg does. Okay. Well, I definitely prefer the bigger one for multiple reasons. 
I don't quite get it, but I'll take her at her word. I'll call her Altera too then. <laughs> I like the bigger main you better. I don't know exactly how it works, but the Titan in the cavern must be the main body. They look the same except for the scale, but I have to pick one the most beautiful, I have to go with the taller one. The bigger one made the strong impression is what I'm trying to say. Wow, you, oh, you are just... You are not the one I like as much at all. I mean, to be fair, I expect a whole route of that. So if the two of them are the same person... Okay, let's make this easier. I'll call this one in front of me, Kiro Altera, and the one in the cave, Titan Altera. Let's see what she thinks about that. Look, we gotta do it, come on. You're different enough, we gotta give you names. Give her what? I can't think of anything right now. All I have is my life, and this digital body. They should make like a push pop of her sword. I'd eat it. I want a push pop right now. Oh my god. She can't threaten me into giving what I don't have, but as soon as I tell her that, I remember. I have my life, my body. Oh, and this ring on my left hand. Is this some sort of mystic code? No, it isn't. Looks like one, but it's far more powerful. Should I hand it over to someone like her? I'd love to take more time and think it over, but I don't really have the time right now. Dude, just give it. She'll push that pop right into you. Well, that's not symbolic at all. It's a strange feeling. I imagine this is how a knight might feel when stripped of his sword and rank. Actually, it's more like I'm taking her in holy matrimony. Yep. <laughs> You know, they are wearing it on the wedding finger. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I have not used those things yet. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that's a thing. Oh. The ring to rule Seraph, the moon cell's royal authority. Did I just hand the enemy something unthinkable? On top of that, the command seals. What I just did can never be taken back. All right. Guess that's what it is. さ、敵を排除しに行くぞ。お前はそこにいろ。案ずるな。戦いが終われば出してやるし、いくらかの自由は聞く。コードキャストぐらいは使えよう。お前が私に力を貸す気になれば。I do wonder if she'll get a super form. I really do. Oh, no, we don't even get a chance to go into a menu or anything. We're just going right in. Don't even get a chance to put on my stuff. Okay. That's mine. This is a small map. It's a very small map. Which I'm going to head back to that other one there. Yeah, I like I like the color of the enemies for sure. Wait, wait, there's one over here? Down here? Yes, it is. All right. So she does have her, her meter there, which definitely makes me think that we're going to get some other stuff. Okay, so heavy attack. Okay. Okay. Is that an upgrade button I see? 
She does have an upgrade. All right, that's that's some damage. Okay, full combo. That's a good attack. I like that a lot. Okay, we got beam. We got air combo. Okay. We got one, two, three. That's that's the triple beam one. Okay, there's that. Okay, where's this aggressor? It's right here. Okay. Good stuff. Let's go grab that. Um, Noble Phantasm. Expanding territories. I don't even know what I got that for. Okay, so let's go head on up. We'll grab that one. Okay. Alright, so far I'm, I'm vibing with her gameplay. Okay. Bring, oh, I was hoping to bring him all the way up here with me. Again, we got beans. to slam down one two we haven't done that one yeah that 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 ends in a big beam nice okay all right we gotta level up already oh that's cool i like that okay so we got a couple more dudes yeah, I like I like fighting these colors of enemies. They're a lot they're they're visually very distinctive, right? Where are you? Okay. Yeah, no, so far her moves are very long reaching, which is definitely something that you want in a Muso, right? The sword being kind of elastic y is kind of nice. Right? Is that ice? Or is that just like crystal? I don't know. Okay. Onward to the last one. Okay. We already got the territorial victory, but we got to take this one as well. Does she have her own little... Okay. They're black. The black keys. Is it a... It's... Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's absolutely not a reference. It's not. Is he going to be here with us? The boss servant has appeared. Oh, I guess he's here. Top servants are capable of controlling enemy programs, probably because the moon cell allows them to. There are more of them here than I'd expect. Enemy programs, attack programs, put them more precisely. Coded by the moon cell, they attack enemy targets automatically. Normal wizard would have uh, trouble controlling even one, but here there's an army of them. And here Altair destroys one after another with her calm, cold precision. She's like a fighting machine, reaping through her enemies without hesitation or remorse. Knowing she aims to destroy the world, I wasn't planning on helping her with my code casts. But I guess that's a moot point since she clearly doesn't need them. Oh, is she on the purposely overpowered side? Is that why this mission is so easy? Ah, there he is. It's Buff McLarge Huge. I do have to wonder if his noble phantasm will still summon, like, an army of his heroes. いくらなんでも壊しすぎだろう。もう少しこう情緒というものは持てんのか。制服を負けどりやの
世の他にはおるまいそれでそういうお前さんは何者だアルテラさーて機関なだなこれほどの力量であれば思い当たる剣士も23出てこようものだがふんとんと心当たりがない貴様もしや正体隠しの特技でも持っているか Yeah, he's in the next game. Just wait, he'll be he's in the next game, don't worry. He's so relaxed, even as he chats with us on the battlefield. We haven't yet experienced the depths of his manner or the power of his noble phantasm, but it's already clear he's a great hero. This is the top servant who is meant to save Seraph, a hero, a great hero, summoned to defeat Altera. <laughs> ならばそうしろ。制服を。やれやれ。久方ぶりの限界だ。少しは世の話に付き合おうとは思わんものか。貴様のやってるそれはな。蹂躙でもなし、さりとて制覇でもない。そんなものは。いや、どうにも込み入った事情がありそうだ。子供の感触であれば、少年から叩き直そうとも思ったが。Like, probably a terrible first top servant to summon because, you know, he's kind of pragmatic and not just justice, right? So. Mm. Alright, well First off we gotta we gotta deal with everything else first. Like this dude right here. Alright. Start with this, cause then we can hopefully spawn in some other enemies. There's like nothing else here. That's cool. That's good. Yo, the big old galaxy gash. You love to see it. Okay, again, we want to try and summon all the other dudes so that we can claim this area so that we get that EX rank, right? There we go. That's who I wanted to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to use my noble phantasm once the other two have spawned in. Right, that's the plan there. Okay. All right, where are they? They're right here. Let's do this. All right, let's see. What do we got? Good stance. Yeah. Oh, it's it's gonna be the the orbital laser. Yep. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Are you not dead? Oh, you survived. Wow. So let's see. I did a big laser at the end once. Okay, I think that might have just been the laser. Alright. That's not bad, though. That's a pretty good Noble Phantasm. Oh, God. And compare that to what she has in um, Grand Order. Wow. That is a... Even this attack here is better than her Grand Order one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Look at her little pose! What? I mean, I guess it makes sense. There wasn't many enemies there. 
Okay. That sucks. Wow, yeah, we don't have that much, actually. We gotta keep leveling her up. Okay. So do we get him on our side or something? How does she... Does she assimilate him or what? What? How's it gonna work? Take him for prisoner too? Compared to Iskandar's passion, Altair is completely mechanical. Her thoughts are as clear as her body is fierce. I know you mean like violence, but it sounds like you're just appreciating her abs, bro. Which is fair. Without any regard for her own life, without a spark of warmth, Altera fights like an avalanche, and she wins. Mm, oh, just like that? Just like that. Just I guess not even like, you know, working for the moon cell means that they're willing to give up their life in place of, you know, for the duty. Alright. I don't remember ever feeling this kind of ecstatic excitement before. It must be coming from him. Even if he has his own agenda, he admitted his loss right away. King of Conquerors Iskandar. I don't think we've met him, but I know his name. He was one of the greatest kings in the world. He commanded many ferocious warriors and heroes. I see him standing there with his fearless grin, and I can feel his magnetism radiate off of him. I wonder if change changed us to him. I didn't even try. But what will that mean for Altera herself? She's the polar opposite of the King of Conquerors, a cold, calculated destroyer. You've defeated the protector of the world. Will you ever be anything but my enemy? Huh. Huh. Did I do anything? That's fair. That's fair. After winning the battle, we're welcome back home with empty silence. Couldn't hurt for Altair to gather her new recruits in this room. Specifically, could she maybe call the King of Conquerors in here? Oh, dang. That makes sense. If this is the Umbral Star's territory, it would be hard for even a top servant to keep materializing here. After all, this place belongs to the world's greatest enemy. So, Altera has no friends in battle. Prisoner. Prisoner or not, I am her master. I can channel men and use command spells. Even though it's not exactly the same in her case, the principles are still similar. So maybe... Maybe there's something I can do for the world. Not necessarily something heroic per se, but... Hmm. Oh, is he gonna try to appeal to her humanity and that's how it's gonna go? I bet you. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can literally just walk through that, huh? So do you two, like, share memories or something? Can you share your personality too? Okay, 
どうかご安心を魔力すべてを吸い尽くしてしまったりはしません外の私は少し怖かったかもしれないけれど優しくしますからそういうふうに気をつけますね Your choice of words make it sound like they're two different people. Everything about Hero Altera, especially in battles, is the opposite of her. Her expressions, her body language, even her tone of voice. But they both have the same divine look to them, even in those same red eyes. Her gentle manner stirs something inside me, some small hesitant feeling, even though I know she's an enemy monster. Maybe she and I should talk more. But the bits and pieces of my memory are warning me, saying I should fight, be suspicious of her, be afraid, fulfill my duty. I really have become her master. I should try and control and subdue her in any way I can. No, that's a waste. That'd be wrong and a waste. It won't work. Nope, I'll hold off. Even if she does call herself the enemy, and even if she did just defeat one of the world's greatest protectors, whichever Altera is, I can still talk to her. Even Hero Altera, who, uh, you know, as much as she acts like a killing machine, still has feelings, I think. It wouldn't work. There's no way. If we're her prisoner, there's no way. There it is. We can talk just like this. We can exchange ideas and words and feelings. Then maybe. At least the front part of it's open. ちょこんとして可愛いですね。念のために言っておきますね。もうあなたには必要ないかもしれませんが、すれ違いは悲しいですから。<笑> Yeah. No, we're gonna play along, we're gonna appeal to her humanity. Oh boy. That doesn't sound nice. Please don't spaghettify my code. That's your other voice. It looks like I should forget everything I know about how masters and servants work together. I'm the one who will have to obey her. Controlling her with command spiels is out of the question. それが人間でしょ。その本能に従ってください。何も恥じることではない Oh boy. Sorry, are you gonna. What are you doing? What did you. Oh. I thought I just exploded for a second. I assume there's a force field. And not that I can't just crawl through those little holes. Those rather large holes. Hmm. Looks like I'm utterly trapped here. I can't go on like this. At this rate, I'll end up helping the Umbral Star whether I want to or not. I'm out of ideas for now. If I could just get out of this cage, I have to do something as soon as possible. She's watching. She's definitely watching. It's like her eyes are boring a hole in me. Does Titan Altera even sleep at all? If not, is she just going to keep staring at me? Titan Altera doesn't seem violent, and she seems willing to talk. If she keeps me here long enough, she'll eventually talk me into her helping, helping her destroy the world. All right, wow, we're going back in. The ancient contract. Is there even menus in this? Can I not do anything in any menu? I'm being watched. 
She's been watching me like this the entire time. The awkward silence. I have no idea what to say, or whether I should say anything, or whether she's even thinking about talking to me. Just like that, all day, literally. She's been staring at me continuously with the same smile without even getting bored or tired. Did I say all day? It's been a week. That's how long it's been since she beat the King of Conquerors. <laughs> That's terrifying, actually. Yep, one week, seven days, give or take. Space doesn't work the same way here as it does outside, but time still does. And here we are, same cavern, same treasure on the floor, same cage, same titan. I want out. Staring at the same four walls for the last seven days has given me an incredible case of cabin fever. It can't go anywhere. All I can do is what she's doing. Stay right here and watch her like she's watching me. <gasps> Does the cave do vanish me poop him? Does the cave remove my poop inside me? Also, sorry, have I not eaten in a week? I know it said it does my functions, but... <laughs> Thanks for the wooden chest. <sighs> huh? Dang, that's a big ass turkey! That's a massive turkey! That is a that is a human sized turkey! Oh, so it's still wood on the inside, I see. <laughs> Please teleport in there and let me see how big it is. Oh, it's okay, that's still pretty big, but it's a lot smaller. Her unexpected kindness throws me off balance. But my observations, including the ones about how to escape her, teach me more about her. The Titan in the Cavern, a servant who controls her master, a monster called Atera, who's not quite a heroic spirit with the smile and bearing of a goddess. Her guard is completely down. She's still watching me, but not as carefully. I know that because I've been watching her the whole time, every movement, every word. She doesn't suspect a thing. No, but for real, eat it, though. What stove? That was your hand. Even if she's not being cautious, she's still talking to me every chance she gets, so I haven't had a chance to try messing with the cage. All in all, no matter how much she lowers her guard, there's no practical way to break myself out. After a week of observations, I've learned one thing. I'm out of options. But in order to maintain my digital body, I do need to share some of her resources. She served me drinks already this week, and none of them were spiked with viruses as far as I know, so that means... <laughs> it was a little raw, judging by the blood on the plate. Just the idea of her creating a Coors Light is throwing me off. At first, I don't know what she's talking about. Is Altair referring to me specifically or to humans in general? Strictly speaking, digital bodies don't need to food. Sorry, need to eat food. I missed the word eat. But wizards still naturally crave the experiences and habits they're already used to, like eating and drinking. I thought maybe she was talking about learning about humanity, but apparently she's only talking about me. So then what kind of experience is she looking for? She didn't even understand that humans get hungry. What knowledge or experience does she have? That's a good question, actually. What has she experienced in her past? Oh, okay. Watashi 
そういうものを見る機会はほとんどなくて最後までそうでした力尽きて倒れて崩れ去るその瞬間まで Again with what happened 14,000 years ago numbers are hard sounds like some mythical epic but I don't think she's lying at least it makes more sense if she didn't literally destroy the earth but rather collapse in the middle of trying yeah okay if she has been out of power ever since that explains how humanity's been able to grow and prosper not having to worry about her we built and maintained civilizations all the way up to the 21st century long enough for me to become a wizard and try for the holy grail それだけです本体としての私自身はずっとここにいました再び優勢がこの銀河にやってくるまでずっとずっと、well, hello. What? What are we looking at? だからごめんなさい不便を感じさせたくはないけど私はきっとまたご迷惑をおかけすると思います。本当にサイズばかり大きくて、あなたにとっての私はひどく世間知らずに映るのでしょうね。She's ashamed of her inexperience. Whatever she does know, she's never had the chance to put into practice. I don't know if it's my place to call her ignorant. That aside, I understand what she's trying to say. This kind of understanding doesn't come naturally for her. She doesn't, she doesn't get how humans work at all, not even how they eat or drink. She may look like a human, but since she's been here this whole time, this whole time, in this cramped room by herself for 14,000 years. Yes. <laughs> No! Is any place unsafe for you? Huh. Huh. それまでの間はずっと長い長い夢を見ていたようなものなのでしょうね。I don't know how to feel for her. Sleeping here for all that time and from the look on her face, her dreams weren't always pleasant ones. I start to say something about it, but I keep my mouth shut instead. If I start to pity her, I'll get sidetracked. My first and foremost priority is get out of this cage. I have to ask her more questions to gather more information. I should ask her more about the way she collapsed back on Earth. Sefaru ga chijou de mukuro to natta no wa tashka des. Des ga, sore de watashi ga shoumetsu shita wake dewa nakute, Sefaru no hontai wa koko ni iru watashi des. Kono watashi ga aru kagiri, Sefaru wa nando de mo chijou ni arawale mas. Hitsuyo na jou ken sa e soroe ba, watashi wa mata. Necessary requirements. I wonder if that means taking full control of the moon cell. If so, if I told Altera I'd help her create that body, would she let me out? Dang. Dang, she's, she's calling me out, huh? Again. Again, she gives me that lonely expression. I thought she wanted to materialize on Earth and slash or destroy the moon cell. Just so she could leave this cavern, but apparently that's not the case. So what's Altera really going for? Oh. oh! Why are you here? You're not even corrupted right now. Hey, 
Unless you are and you're just hiding it. Someone's flown in through a hole in the wall. A petite young woman with the features of a dragon. Who is she? She gave me her name, but. Is this the Elizabeth from this timeline or the Elizabeth that possibly slid into this one? Hmm. Elizabeth Battery. The name doesn't ring a bell. She doesn't look like a wizard, so she must be a servant. And she sounds like she knows Altera well. Oh, this is okay, corrupted. There we go. I like to believe Elizabeth just came here because she's drawn by the treasure hoard being a dragon. <laughs> Oddly, even though Altera could easily punish the pink dragon girl, she doesn't. Did she say they were both working for the Emerald Star? Is that why Altera's not retaliating? Because they're allies? Altera told her to leave, but that's it. Now she's sitting there and letting Elizabeth tell her off. That's not like her at all. At least from what I know about Altera, which admittedly isn't much. あなたなんかに大きな顔させてるのはムカつくの。だってこの私が優勢勢力に加わったのよ。自分が何かもわからない。デクノボなんかより私の方がよっぽどうまく。何よ。いいところだったのに。敵への自動車付きのよね。文字通りのお邪魔虫じゃない。ああ、ムカつく。また来るわ。それまでせいぜい、やることやって。あ、そうそう。そっちの子豚も少しは必死になりなさい。そこにデーンとそびえていらっしゃるのは優勢の巨人
ただ私の傍らにあればいいどうぞレガリアは私のものだそしてお前も私のものだ話はしないしいかなる英霊であろうと渡す気もないただ気をつけろよお前の行動遺憾ではお前は戦場で死ぬそしてお前が私とは違う考えを抱いているのも知っているそれを改めさせる気もない Then is it odd that she seemed worried about me? I understand she needs me for mana but she has a regalia now so I think she'd be able to work around that without me? 思い上がるなお前は私のマスターに過ぎない私をどう嫌悪したところで私の指に収まるしかない囚人だ。縁をしろとは言わない。コードキャストなど私には不要だからな。黙って。私の戦いを見ている。Not that I can go and open up my codecast menu or anything. Boy, we're, yeah, we're just here, huh? ああ。この夢はいつ覚めるのか。All right, well, oh wow, I have like, I have like, oh yeah, it's all blocked out too. Leave the battle and return to my room. Can I do that? Can we go to my room? Do I have a room? I do. It just wasn't a thing. I can't even do that. Do you have clothes? Casual vacancies. Cute. Altera next door. 10 out of 10. All right. Well, I was like, I was, I was actually like, do I have a room? What's going on? I do. It just, I can't even do install skills. That's wild. Skandar, let's register as Bond because that we can keep that going. Dang, okay. I doubt I have anything to talk about. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, woo. I was like, I was like, I gotta have a menu, right? Right? All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Do we have a party here? Whoa, that's cool. Oh, and you can see Gil Sword and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. See you next time for some more Let's Play Fate Extella as we move on to the second battle and probably even the third one. I think we might just do them both considering how it goes, depending on how long the cutscenes are, but that was a long part. I'll see you then for that, guys. Ciao.